This tutorial is for Sven Mullet on Reddit. He wanted a, a easy workflow for four panel split screen, so quadrant split screens, without having to constantly edit video. So here, let's add five video tracks. One we're gonna make our base, and then we're gonna assign four quadrants. I'll start with one at the bottom, then we'll go two, three, and four. And there we go, those are all the layers we're gonna need for this picture-in-picture -picture split screen four quadrant view. Going to add some videos here so that we have something to work with. You know what? On second thought, let's add all of our videos. So I'm just going to drag these all into the playlist. There we go. And I need to first put a video on the base layer so that I have a timeline editor initialized. So here we go. Put that on there. Got some video. That looks great. Now we're going to mute all the quadrants and the base track. And I'm going to add an audio track for later. And we'll put here a filter. On the layer, on the layer, we're going to add size and position to quadrant one. And we're going to set it at 50% of the screen. 50% scaling will then give us one quarter of the screen. We're going to adjust the X and Y position of the top left hand corner. This is the X and the Y. There we go, 961 and 0. Yes, 961 and 0 puts us in quadrant number one. Copy that filter, go to layer two, paste that filter. Now all we have to do is adjust the X coordinate to zero. There we go. And then we'll do it again on quadrant three. Only this time we'll have to set this to zero. X is zero, Y will be 541. That puts it down in quadrant three. There we go. And we'll go to quadrant four, paste that filter again. And this time we're gonna leave it at 961 and we're going to go to 541 on the Y. And that gives us all four quadrants. So now each of these layers will guarantee a size and position of one quarter of the screen. So anything I drag in here, I'll show you that now. Let me drag in something to quadrant four. There it is. Quadrant three. There it is. Quadrant two. And there's our video. And quadrant one. And then there's our video. So there we go, four-way split screen. And I didn't have to adjust the clips. I just had to put them on the appropriate layers. So this is great. Got our video going. It's a little, a little hard to edit this way. It's a little shaky. But, uh, you know, that'll be okay. We'll move along with that. Let me go ahead and split these. I'm going to delete some layers, show you how to do a picture-in-picture. Picture. So let's just delete one, three, and four. And you can see now quadrant two is acting as my picture-in-picture picture layer. So that's a nice, easy way to generate a picture-in-picture -picture, uh, for your projects. You can always have a layer that is your picture-in-picture -picture layer. I'm going to add some audio to this and show you. It's a little, it's a little sluggish here. Let's go with this here. Push play. You see it takes a minute to get going, but once it gets going, we're in good shape. You can hear the audio. It's beating. It's great. There we go. All right. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a template for future work. So I'm going to delete all of the content from these layers, leaving the layers intact. I'm going to save as, and I'm going to name this split screen, four panel split screen template. So there we go. Now I have a file. Oh, forgot to delete these files. We don't want references to those. I'm going to delete them and save over that template file. And there we go. So next time I want to do this workflow, I can simply go onto my computer and say file, open file. Here it is, and open that template. And there we go, it's all set up. I can work very easily and quickly with uh, Quadrant videos, no problem. Let's see, let me drag some videos in. And once again, start working in those quadrants. There we go, once again quadrants and you can see very quickly I am off to the races no problem whatsoever working from a template and then I could save as for my next project I hope that answered a bunch of questions specifically for Sven uh, mullet and I'll see you next time bye